Hello, it is your trusted NEBPS team member, Amy Muling, here to talk to you about some of the new PowerSchool Enhanced User Interface changes that you will see. This short video will talk about primarily some of the name changes that are taking place in this particular update. For example, if you look at the slide here, you will see that all enrollments will now be called course registrations. Parents will now be called guardians. State province will now be called compliance. That trusted transfer info page will now be titled enrollment history. And that miscellaneous will now be called additional preferences. I've just highlighted a few of those main changes here, um, but there are several changes that are taking place. If you were to go into JIPIT, we have several or will have several KB articles. Please make note of our hashtag enhanced UI. This particular presentation um, will be located or titled new UI page names and location crosswalk. There is also within that particular support article uh, spreadsheet that talks through all the different changes and updates when it comes to page names. Let's jump right in and see where some of these changes take place and where we can see them. Of course, I'm gonna draw your attention to the search. The search does search for anything within uh, the new user interface. Um, however, for example, um, transfer info page is something that is no longer available. So if I do search for transfer info, I'm not gonna get what the new uh, name is. I won't get any results in this particular case. However, if I was to search for course registrations, that will take me and give me the cookie crumbs I need to get to that location. So let's take a quick look and see where we're gonna find some of these new features, features or name changes. Uh, so what was once called all enrollment, so if we were to look at a kiddo and see what classes they were enrolled in, um, that was used to be called all enrollments. So now if I click on a group of students and I click on a singular student, I'm going to find that particular uh, all enrollments under courses and programs here. And that's going to be under course registrations right here. So courses and programs and then course registrations and that's going to give me that all enrollment view. So this is everything that has to do with the student schedule. List schedule is also another one that's a pretty popular one as well. Um, so that is where you're going to find what was once called all enrollments is now under course programs within the student search under the registration group and you're gonna to go to course registrations. Okay, so a page that was once called parents is now called guardians. And again, the way we're gonna to get to that is we're gonna select a student or a group of students. And you're gonna find that information within the student profile menu. So when I click on student profile under the contacts group, I will now see the guardian information. This is a test server, so at this point in time, we don't see that information listed. The biggest name changes, in my humble opinion, is we are going from that state province info uh, to the word compliance. So instead of state province info, again, when you have a student who's selected, You now have a compliance group right here or compliance menu. And when you click on that, that's going to give you your other menus that have to do, generally speaking, with state reporting or compliance data, such as student information, English language learner, learning mode, Title I, crisis event, and then there's some legacy. So at one point in time, these were all separate tabs. And it does look like when you do open up that student information, those tabs are still there. Or again, by clicking on compliance, you're able to click directly on the appropriate tab. So that student, uh, any province 
is now called compliance. This next one I think is going to take a little getting used to. Um, we're going from what we used to call the transfer info page to now the enrollment history page. So again, with a student or group of students selected, if we click on them, we have a menu here called school enrollment. And now you're looking for enrollment history. And that enrollment history is going to give you that in and out um, of those transfer info records um, are now going to be called enrollment history. And then don't forget you do have that handy dandy um, add to favorites as well. So again, transfer info within the student is now called enrollment history. The page that I'm going to highlight is within the school management group or menu. Um, and that's going to be that miscellaneous is now called additional preferences. So if we're to click on school management, um, under display preferences, okay, right here, display preferences, here's where you're going to see that additional preferences. That's all I'm going to cover in this short video today. Um, thanks for joining me on the new user interface page names and location changes.